Barnes is now regarded as one of the Anfield elders. But it's not that long ago he was in Collymore's position, a young talent arriving with a rich reputation. As far as uh, Liverpool Football Club goes, there's no pressure on Stan at all, you know. Maybe the media, other people may say he costs a lot of money, so therefore there's pressure on him. But I mean, the players didn't, the, they don't really expect Stan to come here because he costs eight and a half million to be the best player in Liverpool or to turn Liverpool around. Uh, he is a cog in the machine and he comes and he'll, he'll fit in as best he can. And w we're pleased with the way things have been going for Stan, particularly in the last couple of games. Looks like a joy to play in this Liverpool team, is, is it? Yeah, potentially this, this Liverpool side has got the capabilities of being one of the great Liverpool sides of all time. The exciting thing about it from their point of view is that they all know that if they keep away from injuries and they all stay at the club, that when they're all 26, 27, that's going to be an exciting time. The sad thing for me is that when they're 27, 28, maybe I probably won't be around. So I think that that's what's the sad thing as far as I'm concerned, because I, I would like to be around when they actually reach their peak and Liverpool then gets back to the forefront of British football. What of yourself? How long can you play? Who knows? I mean, I, I would rather look at the players of the ilk of uh, Ray Wilkins and Brian Robson and Glenn Hoddle who played till they're 38. So I would like to look at them and to look at their example and say, well, I would like to play till I'm 37, 38. Even longer, but who knows?